Welcome to the Gates Timing Belt Drive System training video. Of all the components in a modern engine, the timing belt drive system and the synchronization it provides is crucial. When it's not working, that's bad. Really bad. Gates continues to be in the forefront in timing belt system development and production globally, producing more OE timing belts than any other belt manufacturer. By keeping up with the latest training, shop owners and technicians will be able to better explain to their customers the importance of timing belt replacement at the recommended OEM interval. Customers need to know that the belt, tensioner, pulleys, and water pump are all designed to work as a system. Timing belt systems are used to synchronize the cam or cams with the crank so the engine cylinder valves actuated from the cam or cams open and close properly in relation to the pistons driven by the crank. The tensioner, pulleys, belt, and often the water pump are designed by original equipment manufacturers as a system. Incredibly, 95% of all timing belt failures happen after only the belt was replaced. Replacing all of these components at one time with a Gates Timing Component Kit or a Gates Timing Component Kit with a water pump will result in the best engine performance, longest engine life, and happiest customers. All kits include detailed instructions, as some replacements are complex and procedures are unique to each engine. Many kits also include specific installation tools, technical service bulletins, or other documents used to assist in installation. Failure to read and follow these important instructions may lead to premature failure, creating lost profits for you and the very unhappy customer. One critical component in a timing belt drive system is the tensioner. Most tensioners today are automatic, although there are still manual tensioning systems in operation. Timing belt tensioners come in three basic types, manual, automatic mechanical, and automatic hydraulic. To achieve proper tension, use a tension gauge such as the Gates Tester Part Number 91000. New automatic tensioners do not require measurement with the tension gauge. Timing belts are synchronous belts. The synchronization of the valve train components with the crank and pistons is specific to a vehicle's engine. Not surprisingly, the length, width, number of teeth, tooth profile, and materials used to make the belt must match the original timing belt exactly. As you already know, you can't fit a round peg in a square hole. Timing belts utilize three basic tooth profiles, trapezoidal, curvilinear, and modified curvilinear. And within each of these categories, there are variations. The profiles are identical to the grooves in the sprockets of all system components. Bottom line, timing belts are not interchangeable. Every timing belt Gates manufactures is built to the same OEM specs as the original. And that's good, really good. Now let's take a look at the entire system. Whether the system has failed or the belt replacement is made during a recommended replacement interval, there are several things that a service technician should look for. First, is the system clean? Oil and coolant are detrimental to timing belts, breaking down the rubber within the belt and severely weakening it. Remember to always replace a timing belt that has been contaminated with oil or engine coolant. The next step is to take a look at the belt itself. Look for frays on the side of the belt. If sidewall damage is present, look for damage in the timing belt cover or indications the belt is running against the engine. A belt with cracks on the back or at the roots of the teeth or shiny and burnt areas on the overcourt suggest heat damage from a bad bearing. Finally, check the cam and crank sprockets for any damage, chips, cracks, pitting or worn areas. Other indications are blued areas on metal pulleys and scuffed or melted areas on plastic pulleys. These are signs that a bearing is partially or fully frozen on a pulley. Before you begin installation of the new components, it's a good idea to clean the entire timing belt area, paying particular attention to the mounting areas for the tensioner, idler pulleys, and water pump. Once everything is clean, check the oil seals in any gaskets for leaks. After each component is installed, check that they move freely without binding. It's also recommended that the crank and cam oil seals be replaced, even if they're not leaking, as this ensures a complete system replacement and reduces the chance of an unhappy customer. When installing the belt, do not allow it to be crimped, twisted, or pried upon. If the tensile members inside the timing belt are bent or broken, the strength will be drastically reduced and early failure will occur. 
Most timing belts have marks printed on them that must line up with indicator marks on the cam and crank sprockets. There may also be other markings, including instruction as to which way the belt should rotate or which side of the belt is the engine side. After all components are installed, release the tensioner and allow it to tension the belt. With the spark plugs removed for ease of rotation, rotate the engine twice and check for movement of the pulleys. This will also allow the tensioner to fully extend and apply proper tension. Do not rotate the engine in the opposite direction unless directed by the belt's instructions. Not only could it damage the engine, but it may also put slack in the timing belt, causing it to jump when the engine is first started. Reinstall the cover. Verify it seals properly to eliminate any possibility of contaminants entering the system. Install all exterior components that were removed when accessing the timing system and note the mileage for the next recommended replacement. A system is only as good as its weakest link. By installing the timing components as a kit, you can be confident you're providing the best engine performance and longest engine life. Think about it. No customer comebacks because something failed. And that means happier customers. And that's good. That's really good. For additional synchronous belt drive system information, please visit our website.